All right, let's take a look at another real world example. This one involves ointment. A pharmacist wants to mix an ointment that is 8% zinc oxide with an ointment that's 24% zinc oxide. And he wants to make 20 grams of an ointment that is 12% zinc oxide. Here's our challenge. How many grams of each ointment should the pharmacist mix, mix together? Now this sounds really, really hard. And in fact, it, it is. We have to take it slowly and analyze exactly what's going on. I'm going to use this chart to help organize our thinking. So first of all, we're going to have the percent of the, of the first ointment and the second ointment and then the final. So the percent of the first ointment is 8% zinc oxide. So there's 8% here. And in the second ointment, we have 24%. We're going to combine them in some suitable way to produce 12% at the end result. We have to figure out how to do that. OK, well, how much of the first ointment should we have? Well, I don't know, so I'm going to call that x. That's how many grams I'm going to have of the first ointment. OK, now, how many grams of the second ointment am I going to have? I don't know that either. So I better call that something else. I can't call it x because x is already taken. That represents the number of grams of the first ointment, so I'll call this one y. And what do I know? If I take the number of grams that I use from the first ointment and add the number of grams of the second ointment, that is going to equal the total number of grams, which was given to be 20 grams of the ointment. So this is going to be, in fact, you hear the pharmacist needs this very quickly because there is a siren that's rushing someone to a hospital. Do you hear it? And so we really have to hurry, but accurately solve the question in order to figure out exactly the right medication. This is going to be 20. So the number of grams of the first plus the number of the grams of the second will equal the total number of grams, 20. OK. Now, what about the amount of the zinc oxide? Well, if we use 20 grams, we know 8%. 8% of that will be the zinc oxide. So that's going to be 0.08x plus how much zinc oxide are we going to have from the second ointment? Well, 24% of it is zinc oxide, so that's 0.24 times the amount of the second ointment we use, which is Y. And when we add those together, what do we get? Well, we need 12% of 20. So we're going to need 0.12 times 20, which actually equals 2.4. Now check it out. We first of all analyze this by figuring out just the grams, the number of grams here plus the number of grams here equals 20. And then we actually knowing the percentage of the zinc oxide in each quantity, we were able to figure out exactly uh, what the sum should be here. We actually have two equations and two unknowns. That's our system of equations. Cool. Let's write them down before we forget them. So the first one is going to be 0. That's the second one. Okay. So, okay, I'll write the second one first. 0.08x plus 0.24y equals 2.4. There's the second equation. And the first equation is simply x plus y equals 20. And that's my system. Wow. I think really that was the hardest part of this whole question, is just to produce the system. Now solving it's going to require a lot of algebraic stuff. And I want to use the substitution method here, which means that I will solve for one of the variables in one of the equations and substitute it into the other and solve for the, the remaining variable. So what I'll do here is I'll take the second equation, which seems pretty simple, and I'll solve it for x. There are lots of ways of doing this, by the way. There's not just one way, but I just will solve this for x. So I'm going to take this and solve for x. And when I solve for x, I'm going to subtract y from both sides. And I see x equals 20 minus y. Now I'm going to substitute that x in for this x here. And then I'll have an equation just in terms of y. In fact, when I substitute this in, right into here, what I result in is the following. I result in 0 0.08 
times x, but I'm substituting 20 minus y for x. And then I have the plus 0.24y equals 2.4. And now my mission is to actually solve this. And the way I'm going to do that is first distribute the 0.08 to here and to here. You still with me? You better be with me. I don't want you leaving. Don't you close this window. You're watching this thing. If I'm doing it, you're watching it. All right, so here we go. This multiplication, 0.08 times 20, is actually 1.6 minus, and then here I have a 0 0.08 times y, which is 0.08y, plus 0.24y, and that equals 2.4. Okay, well, we can simplify this a lot. We can add these y's together, and when we do that, what we see here is 1.6 plus 0.16y. Because if I take 0.24 and subtract off 0.08, I'm left with 0.16y. And that equals 2.4. Now I subtract, because I want to get the y by itself, so I'm going to get rid of this, this non-y by subtracting 1.6 from both sides. Fun, 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 fun. And so this actually adds to give 0. So I'm just left with 0.16y equals, and when I subtract here, I'm just left with a very simple 0.8. Now I can undo the multiplication by 0.16 by dividing both sides by 0.16. And when I do that, what I see is that y equals 0.8 divided by 0.16, or very simply, 80 divided by 16. And if we take 80 divided by 16, we actually end up with just 5. Phew! So 5, and my units here are grams. So 5 grams for the, the y, that's the second ointment. And how do I find out the grams for the first ointment? Well, I can come back and just substitute into here. Put in, uh, substitute 5 for y, then it becomes really easy. x plus 5 equals 20. Subtract 5 from both sides, and I see that x has to actually equal 15 grams. So I need 15 grams of the ointment that is 8%. I need 5 grams of the ointment that's 24%. And when I combine them in this fashion, what I see is I'm going to get uh, 20 grams of an ointment that's exactly 12% zinc oxide. Pretty cool. Complicated. But look how important. We can save lives by actually solving these linear systems. That is important. And even though it's tricky in a lot of algebra and a lot of work, you can see that this really is cutting edge stuff. Great.